Hi, this is Helen Moore reporting for the View News Services. Today we are going to be in Central Square uh, asking people's opinions on the possibility of the legalization of doctor assisted suicide in Massachusetts. Physician assisted suicide is suicide, and normalizing suicide means the death of solidarity. If someone is in screaming pain, in despair, our duty is to care and to suffer with, not to open the door to death. Solidarity isn't doing very well these days. Legalizing physician assisted suicide would radicalize that trend the trend to leave behind the poor and the addicted and the refugee and the medically dependent and the elderly and the hopeless and the forgotten. I don't think about this issue much until wham, they get hit in the face with a terrible tragedy, usually a very personal tragedy. I support uh, the legalization of doctor assisted suicide. I think that people should have the freedom to decide what they, how they want to die, and what they want to do, how they want to do it, and I, I don't think there should be any interference in that. I think if someone has complete control over their thoughts and they're not mentally unstable in any way, uh, that they can make the right decision for them, pertaining to whether or not they think they should die if they're already terminally ill. One is is ill or is suffering and knows there's no option. They should be able to have that choice to end their life in a, you know, in a compassionate way. And it's, it's mindful. It's a way to, like, it's like, I'm choosing to exit this world with some assistance. I don't think that people would be uh, influenced to choose death over a life-saving treatment, whether it's more expensive or not, because if you're dead, money doesn't matter anyway. It's not me telling you what to do. It's me saying, don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> I want that choice when I'm in that position. Um, I, I don't know, it gives you a little bit of power over what's happening to you. And uh, why not? I mean, <laughs> it's a good reason not to provide that service. So, so you have cancer. I don't want to go through X, Y, and Z because I know that for me, the prognosis is not good. Why shouldn't I have the choice to have the assistance to end my life in a compassionate way? Because there's actually not enough compassion in this world that we it and empathy. This is my right. And I think the safeguards are thoughtful and sufficient. 